What up, people, and welcome to another episode of Social Moments. If you are new here, hit the subscribe button, click on the bell, and click on all. Give this video a like. So, ladies, quit playing with your lives. Seriously, quit playing with your lives. Tell you, this world keeps getting crazy and scarier every day. It's insane. So, you know the stories, the way a man invests in a woman, takes her through school, takes care of her, and she finishes and she comes to him that he is not her class anymore and wants to move on, go marry somebody else and all of that. Well, it's happening again, and this time it, it was caught on video, and it, it's sad. It's sad how a person can waste another person's life just like that. But it also tells you how dangerous it is to play that game if you are a woman, and if you are not sure if you are gonna go through life with somebody, and you allow them to invest you, and you allow them to invest in you for years. The video is all kinds of messed up, so obviously I'm not going to be able to show everything, but the part I can't show, I'm going to show it. Yeah, I had to stop here because right from here going, everything else is bloody. Everything else. The guy basically unloaded every single bullet in that gun into her. The story is that this, like, you know, usually how it goes, this is his girlfriend invested in her, took her through law school and everything. And then she finished, told him, he's no longer her class. She cannot go through life with him anymore. So they should both move on. And this guy did not want to accept that. A chat between himself and a friend has come out where he told his friend that he was actually going to do this. And his friend was trying to talk him out of going through with it. The friend probably thought that, you know, he had convinced him or talked him out of going through with the crazy idea of doing this to her, but clearly he failed. The guy had made up his mind and nothing would change his mind. In the WhatsApp chat, this is how it goes. The guy tells the friend, are you aware that she studied law? You know how much, how much I spent just for the university alone? Bro, you knew how she was when we met her now. I know supposed to tell you that one. Guy, this girl is now telling me she's not of my class anymore. See, God will punish her. I'm going to kill her tomorrow. I will go to that guy's house where she is staying now, shoot her and walk away. I won't touch the guy because he did nothing to me. I believe he doesn't know me because she won't tell him. And I don't have the time to start explaining things to him. It will make me look too small. The guy tried talking him out of it like I said, saying, guy, just relax. Everything will fine. No worry. She is not the end of your life. You will still get lots of things to do in life. She was just a lesson you needed to she was just a lesson you needed to learn at this point which he responds bro what the fuck do you know about love guys see i don't like saying this but i have to tell you because you're my royal g i have been all that girl has from day one till now bro the very day she wrote jam till now i have been there i've been the one taking care of her responsibilities you know there is relationship there's basically dating somebody and if things go well you both you know live your life together and if it doesn't you go your separate ways there's that and there's letting somebody invest in you with the knowledge or the idea that you are gonna stick to him forever you are gonna be by him, his side you are gonna marry him live your life together only for him to do all of those things pretty much upgrade you more than himself which is very stupid by the way guys don't do that don't take anybody who is not like your kid or your family or through school or through life upgrade them to a level that is way beyond you i digress but yeah basically that's what he did i don't let anybody invest in you that much with that idea that this is how your lives are gonna end up and which is together only for you to later tell him that it's not gonna happen these are the kind of things that end up happening this is not an isolated case it's happened before way too many times like i said i've been hearing i've been hearing stories like this since i was pretty much a kid and again like you know get you know get siblings you know get upgrade yourself use that money upgrade yourself don't be investing in people like that because nothing is guaranteed in this life well in this case you know um she was there and he did he did this to her. So what happens if she had actually left the country and you couldn't get your hands on her? So there's no guarantees in this life. Because there are people who've had that happen to them. They invest, the other partner leave without them even knowing. So, you know, there's no guarantee in life that feelings change, emotions change, people change. There's no guarantee that you're going to end up with somebody just because you've been dating for whatever time it has been or because you've been investing 
so so and so into that person there's no guarantee so don't allow somebody to invest that much in you with that idea and also don't invest in people like invest in yourself upgrade yourself if you're upgrading her make sure to at least also upgrade yourself so that you will be on par so that she won't come and tell you that you're not on her level it's very stupid to do like don't do that but yeah that's me other people online had different or similar thoughts and i'm gonna I'm read some to you uh, wishes Abinatina says, Sometimes I pray my man does not see posts like this, which might discourage him from assisting me like he's doing now. I owe him, I owe this man everything I am today. He did and still is doing what my parents could cannot do. So I adore him such that, so I, so I adore him such that words can't even explain. And I will never and ever let him down. He knows and feels my loyalty to him. May God keep both of us alive till forever. And I will come back to this same page after 10 years to post our success together just for people to know that there are still people who appreciate good deeds in this world well i mean i hope so i hope so i hope you keep to your word not because i necessarily fear something like this might happen to you but because that man deserves because that man you are singing praises obviously it's worth it and i hope that she go keep her word because usually this is how we start. This is how we start with praises and worship like this, only to end up turning into a tragedy like this one. Mami uh, Mensa says, The bitter truth, some partners have bad intentions. They know from day one that you are not their type, but for shaky reasons, they will be milking you dry. See, ladies, no man is dumb. Some forgive because they know you will come back in future to beg them for money again, others their lalai, it's either Yamut or otherwise. If you don't love him, don't spend even his peswa for the sex dear both of you enjoyed. Exactly. Sometimes when searching, sometimes when certain issues like this come up and people are talking about the usual excuse for women is, well, you also had sex with her. Uh, no, you both had sex with each other. I don't know why some women think sex equals some, some kind of transaction unless there was an, uh, an initial agreement like the sex is the payment for all the money she's spending on you, paying for your school fees, your accommodation, your livelihood. You both had sex. Both enjoyed it. Unless it was rape, that, sex isn't like transactional like that unless you're a prostitute, of course. So yeah. Perpetual Cynthia says, this your post makes no sense to me. Do you know the pain some of us suffered are still suffering because we said to ourselves, we do not want to be ungrateful and ended in death traps? Do you ever have the experience where a man uses his support to abuse you physically, mentally and emotionally to the point of traumatizing you? I will never accept anything in the name of sponsoring, of sponsoring me through again. Chiaka Exactly, that's the other side of things. Like she said, she's not gonna accept this kind of sponsoring again. Like, I, get, in, I mean, initially it might seem like a good idea and you are benefiting, but honestly, in the long run of things, like I said, emotions change, feelings change, people change. In the long run of things, you're not gonna know if this person is gonna stick by you. You don't know if your feelings for him or her is gonna change. So to avoid ending up in the future, forcing yourself to stay with somebody or in a relationship that you don't really want to anymore because of the fear of living and being killed or you feeling like you need to you know do your part and ending up being emotionally abused and physically abused because you chose to be grateful and stay live your life pay for your own things no make no make them put extra money for your life no make them invest in you like you are some project so that in the end of the day you go feel like you you have to stick to them or something and to the men there i don't think this culture of investing in somebody and expecting them to marry you at the end of the day is ever gonna end because clearly somebody's in the comment section giving a testimony of how you know her her boyfriend has been sponsoring her and 10 years later she'll come and give testimony it's probably the same way this thing started you know, so, so there's always going to be men who choose that to take that risk. And there's always going to be women who accept it. But at the end of the day, after 10 years, will you be able to keep your word? For all, that's the question. After 10 years, after 5 years, will you be able to hold your end of the deal? So yeah, that's it for now. I hope we all learn a lesson, a valuable lesson from this tragedy and learn to make responsible decisions. That's not going to come back and bite us in the bomb bomb tomorrow. Let me know what you think about this story. Leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, catch you later.